Today is the day that I actually move up to the Sunshine Coast. So if you're new here, I live in Brisbane, Australia. And I'm moving to live near the beach at the sunny coast. So I'm moving alone. I am not going with any friends or anything or no partners. Just moving to hopefully create a brand new life for myself and one that really, really excites me. So that is why I'm here and that's why I'm documenting this process. And not only for myself, but hopefully to inspire one of you guys to do a similar thing or you know go traveling or get a new job or just anything new. I live in an apartment building and I've just been doing a few loads to the bin to get rid of some rubbish that I've got. There's no aircon in the lift or the basement. I'll show you where I'm at with my house at the moment. Bedroom is pretty much fully empty. I've just got to organize all this stuff to take to the car. Packed a bag for the next few days just of clothes and essential things that I need. My wardrobe is pretty much empty. That's just rubbish that I need to get rid of. I had some mates help me move my washing machine yesterday. It's filthy on the floor. That's disgusting. I believe these cupboards are all empty. Yep. This cupboard's got some cleaning stuff in it because I'll need that. Actually, I'm going to take that roll of toilet paper with me to the new house so that I've got toilet paper in my bathroom when I get there. Um, shove it in that one. Yeah, so that cupboard's full of cleaning stuff that I'm gonna need tomorrow. I've left some rags. Bin can fuck off tomorrow. It's just a bit of random stuff left in here. And then I've got some essential things, toiletries, random bits of bobs, makeup, stuff like that. Wow, it is loud outside. Shut that up. a little bit better. Everything is a bit of a shit show. That is rubbish. That's rubbish. I haven't decided if I'm going to take the chair yet, but I'm going to leave it here tonight. This light I might just give away for free, to be honest. I'm going to list my mattress on Facebook Marketplace shortly to pick up for free because I do have a new mattress delivered to my new house. I'll take the TV tomorrow unless it fits in the car today. And then pillows and things I can probably shove in the car today. Tomorrow's mostly going to be moving my plants. I do have quite a lot of plants. Um, but yeah, this stuff's probably all going to go in the car today and all of this stuff. So that is my job for the next however long. I haven't actually eaten since 11 a.m. yesterday and it is 8.26. That is because yesterday I was extremely hungover. I didn't even have a coffee, which is very unlike me. Obviously, I've got no fridge or food or anything here at the moment. So I haven't eaten, haven't had coffee but I will do that once my car is packed. And yes, my stomach is absolutely hurting and I don't recommend not eating that many meals. I am at my new home now. I think I'm going to smash out maybe a couple of hours of unpacking. I know that I'll be super exhausted later, so I've decided I'll sleep here tonight and then I'll head back to Brizzy tomorrow to finish up cleaning my other apartment. I'm actually feeling super excited. I am officially unemployed this week as well, so I have no commitment. If you do want to suss out what the house looks like, you can go to my most recent moving vlog. I'm going to go pop this camera on charge for a bit and then I will start building my bed. The real question here is where the fuck is my camera charger? I know where I put it.
in Bruins Vegas for the day. I'm in my old apartment and I have obviously a bunch of shit that I need to pack into my car to take back with me tomorrow. Um, but I also have to clean up this entire apartment today. So it is 9 a.m. It took me like fucking two hours to get here this morning. The motorway was an absolute fucking car park, which was a joke. We can't take your message at this time. Please call again later and like a small mattress topper that I just would like removed from my apartment at some point today if that's possible. And you just pay for the amount of sections that you fill up. Yes, for choosing us, I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you, you too. I literally just went to the post office and um, I saw this truck drive past and it was like 1-800 junk removal or some shit. And so I gave him a call because I have this mattress and no one on Facebook is buying it at the moment, so I need it removed today. It is like $150 to get that mattress removed. sweaty mess looking like a fucking toe. I haven't eaten since 9am this morning. I'm so close to the finish line. I'm just calling it quits here for today because it's starting to get dark and I can't really see in the other room. So I've done as much as I can, but I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to leave all my vacuum cleaner and cleaning stuff here. Just flip the camera so you can see. So I've just left my mop vacuum cleaner. I cannot for the life of me get those stains off. I don't know what they are, but they won't come off. So hopefully it's not too much of a problem because it's outside, but I guess we'll find out by the real estate. Also have to clean the windows here. I cleaned these a week ago when I moved out, but just in the last few days because of the amount of dust floating around from cleaning and moving, they are fucking disgusting. <sighs> but yeah, these are all filthy on the outside, so I can't do anything about that. But this is the last sunset that I'm gonna watch. Oh, a little piece quite bittersweet i feel quite proud of myself for like living here alone for two years when i was only 20 years old i think i said in my first moving vlog that it's been like a massive growth experience for me personally and i don't think i'll live in a house for a while that's got a view this stunning so i'm just gonna make the most of it for the next five ten minutes and then i'll head to my brother's house because that's where i'm staying tonight he's gonna cook us dinner which is great because he's a chef which is so unreal i love when he cooks for me Just say goodbye to my brother. He was like half asleep, so it's a bit hard to like be emotional, but um, yeah, it was a bit hard. It is about 10 to eight, so the carpet cleaners should be here shortly. It is now 12 past eight and my carpet cleaner is not here. Thanks to them, he hasn't even replied, so I'm going to give him a call. My apartment buzzer just went off, but I literally just texted him and said, when you get here, text me so I can come let you in. Why are you not fucking texting me, bro? <sighs> it was not in fact a scammer. He was actually super lovely. So the carpet's all done. It smells fresh and clean. It's just drying at the moment. My place is officially ready for me to get out. Oh, it's so so bittersweet. I think it's finally hitting me today like handing keys back and stuff. So oh my god oh, It's such a beautiful day to soak up that view It feels very strange. This is like the official day that I'm leaving Brisbane I think it'll deep down always be home for me. I realized in the last couple of years, but that what I want from life is um, quite different from the people around me and I think it's really just hit me right now like that this is actually happening like I'm actually doing this and this is like the official end of my Brisbane chapter I've outgrown the people here I've outgrown my job I'm really just craving more for myself so that's why I'm doing this um but yeah basically what I'm trying to say is I just feel 
like really fucking proud of myself that I've finally done this. If you told me like three years ago that you'd be living by the beach, like I would have been like, not possible. <laughs> but I've fucking made it possible. <laughs> oh God, okay. I don't have any tissues because my apartment's empty. I'm really hungry, but I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch. Also cannot sit shit right now. I'm so, so happy about moving, but I don't know why I feel so odd. I feel odd. Why am I crying? What the hell? Make chicken meal with a no sugar Coke, please. My fuel says 333, so that is so iconic. I feel like I'm gonna hit the fucking curb here. Thanks so much, have a great day. Don't sit back, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna eat my meal and drive an hour and a half. I just got home and home being my new home. I have the house to myself to unload. I'm not really sure what it is, but every time I come here, I feel so peaceful. I think it might be the palm trees. There's just palm trees everywhere and I just love it. Like these ones in the driveway, unreal. I'm about to head to Ikea. This is my outfit. I've got socks and boots on. Need I say more? I'm gonna get a desk to go here, some shelves here, and then a couple of like drawer units for my wardrobe. Oh my God, my car is a fucking sauna. Let's go to Ikea. I just got home from Ikea car is full unfortunately they did not have the wardrobe storage that i was hoping to get um they're just like these mesh drawers that pull out i think kmart actually have similar ones so i'll probably just pick them up Alrighty, i've just got my desk out in the dining room it's going to be a little bit easier to build out here i don't know how long my camera battery is going to last but i'll show you as much as i can camera battery is about to die but this is the update please ignore the absolute shit show over this way <laughs> desk is all built I'm quite unsure about the chair now. It'll be nice when I put some art and stuff on the walls, some plants and things. Today it's very rainy and overcast and yuck. I'm gonna head to the main shopping center at the coast, but I am making progress here. It <laughs> still looks very messy. Apologies, the lighting's quite bad in here at the moment. So the shelf is making good progress. My plant looks really good up there. I'm very happy with that. I've moved a couple of my plants into here. Desk is obviously still a mess because I still need to find places for a lot of that stuff. These boxes I still have to sort through, but they're mostly things that I am going to store that I want to hold on to in case I move out alone again. Spare mugs and glasses and pots and things like that. My rug over here, I'm not sure what I'm doing with that just yet. I don't think I'm going to use it in this house, so I think I might just sell it on Marketplace. I think I eventually want to get a rug for this area here just to brighten the space up a bit because the dark it is the dark it the carpet is quite dark but yeah for the meantime I'll probably just go without a rug. I bought that lamp from Ikea yesterday but I forgot to buy the bulb that goes in it so I need to buy one of them today at the shops. I'm just in the middle of folding some washing which is what all that shit is. I kind of just have like random bits and pieces to deal with but but yeah we're finally making good progress. I grabbed the storage for the wardrobe, new work clothes, and new shoes for work, and then just a bunch of random storagey stuff from Kmart. I'm pretty exhausted. I also just got an email from my old property manager who wants me to go back and reclean my apartment that I moved out of because she's telling me that there's issues that weren't noted on the entry that are there now. But I've literally got timestamp photos of when I moved in. Um, so I just sent them back to her. So I told her she's more than welcome to engage a professional cleaner to rectify the issues. But yeah, I also attached my own images from when I moved in when the place was filthy. That's fun, but yeah. This is a fab at night. So this is what it looks like. These are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea, by the way. So 
of the girls, which is fine because I'm watching Rachel Catherine on the TV, but it's a fucking leaning tower of Pisa. It is a Saturday, I think it's about 11 o'clock, but I'm not really sure because I don't have my watch on and I don't know where my phone is. I'm trying really hard to have everything done today so that I can enjoy this afternoon and tomorrow. As you can tell from the bags under my eyes, I'm just really, really exhausted. This whole moving thing is not fun. <laughs> it's really not fun. I realised that I never actually gave you a haul of what I picked up from the shops yesterday. First things first, I... Obviously got these drawers, which you would have seen me build yesterday. Like I showed you, one of them is fully on a lean, so they don't line up and it's very annoying. But yeah, pretty much I put my underwear, bras, and my socks in one side. Oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> Look at it, it's so annoying. I fully decked out this side for activewear, so I've got crop tops up top, tights and shorts in here, all my like t-shirts and tank tops and stuff that I usually throw over the top. What I'm hoping to do is shuffle all my clothes down this way so that I can actually have this space to have things sitting on top of here. So I want to have like my jewellery and my makeup and probably my hair stuff in here. I also picked up these four clear tubs. They've actually got like cutouts in them so you can reach into them easily. Bikini bottoms in this one, bikini tops in that one. And then these two I'm going to be using for business stuff. Sneak peek of what's coming soon. Um, but yeah, I've just loaded all this stock into this hang thing. I don't know how long this is going to last. I'll probably end up getting like a tall shelf for in here. But it was just a good temporary storage solution. New tray for my skincare. And also a matching toothbrush holder. It feels a bit weird. It's quite rough. I don't know if I'll keep them white or if I'll um, maybe paint them like a bright colour or something eventually. Not too sure. This is obviously still a mess right now, but I'm just going through organizing things. I've got a toilet brush holder and also a bin for my bathroom. This is the rest of the bag here, so I'll just go through and show you what else I got. So I got two of these shelf dividers. They literally just clip onto your shelves like that, and then they're gonna go over in that corner where I put all my shorts and jeans and stuff. Clear three to your jewelry box from Kmart as well. This is the damage that I did at Kmart. <laughs> $230, what the heck? Also picked up a belt, but that one's actually from Target. Um, also from Kmart, I got this weekly planner, which is going to be super handy because of the size of it. It just sits there perfectly. Just pop those in here um, just to separate my pyjamas. I've got sets, random pieces, winter stuff. And then up here I've got all my shorts, dark jeans, light jeans. So yeah. I do need to organize these bottom two shelves because at the moment this is all like football stuff but I think I'm actually going to put linen here instead and then put all my football stuff up the top somewhere. and my room is finally finished finally finished actually I do need to do that diffuser which I'll do in a second but I'll give you a quick room tour first so obviously you come through the door here I've got a couple of things over on the floor there that need to go in my car this is my little desk space and I've got these two prints that I need to put up I'm gonna put one on that wall one on that wall and then I've got my plants in here now this one's looking a little bit sad then we come into my bathroom which is also all done. I'm gonna do a big clean tomorrow, but I do wanna to go to the beach this afternoon while the weather is nice. Skincare, things I use every day, a little diffuser. And then obviously you come this way and just got my dirty clothes basket there. Not loving the bedside table just yet, but we'll work with it. Just got my swimmers out ready to go because I'm so hot. I forgot to get the light bulb again yesterday for that lamp, so it still has no bulb in it, but that's what this side of the room looks like. And then I love this little corner. Obviously, I need to do that diffuser in a second up the top, but I am so glad I went with this shelf. I love it. It has heaps of random shit on it. Love it. Um, and then all the boxes. I'm just going to put them on Marketplace for free. Someone can come pick them up. Put my two plants here. I'm the kind of person that needs a clean space to have a clean mind. So um, it was killing me all week having a messy room and shit everywhere. 
So I'm glad it's all in order now. I'm going to get ready, go to the beach and start enjoying my weekend now that this is finally done. I'm just about to go to the beach for a bit of the day before I come back and just do some life admin before I start my new job tomorrow. That concludes the moving diaries. I think it's really cool that I'm able to document this um, and upload it to the internet somewhere so that I can inspire people to do the same thing or um, just look back on it in a few years. Like maybe this is a life changing decision for me. Ooh, it's hot today. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. See you very soon. Bye. Cold feet, winter drives.